What is going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. We are back in the mines, going over just kind of the mines playstyle and the new, the the adaptive cruiser playstyle that I actually talked about a while ago, and I said I kind of hate this style, um, but, you know, with the mines, I think it is a very viable option. Now, in that video, I talked about, like, the Japanese IJN-type cruiser, like the Suzuya, just immediately turning and, and kind of kiting to the back of the map. Now, the mines, I do do this to an extent, and if you saw my mains is insanes video, um, I really had no other option. My team collapsed, and like I said, if the situation calls for it, you can absolutely kite to the back of the map. Um, but initially here, we're going to try and remain in like a spot like this, actually, and that's exactly what we wanted. Um, and now we're just setting up to dodge this first salvo. Now we're waiting for the shells to come in, and unfortunately, the map... There they are. So the, the map does not promote a... Uh, a very conducive dodging environment because of how light it is, but you need to be watching for those shells, and there's another cruiser. So we're going to try and get a fire in the sky. Take a little bit of aggro. Our DD is moving into the cap, which is good. We're going to have to aim, what is that, 18, 17 kilometers to hit a ship at 16, because aiming is definitely working as intended. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, get behind this island. We've, we've pushed the enemy battleship away. There's a fire. Let's see if he pushes it out. Now, we've kind of turned back broadside, so we need to be careful. He's stopped shooting at us already. So, we're going to switch to the next target, let him burn. And in the meantime, we're going to use this island cover to, to harass the enemy. There's no point in, in... I saw some guys like, I hate island campers. Well, then you don't understand the game. And in its most simplest form. Um, I always say, especially in solo play, you are the most valuable asset to your team, if you know what you're doing. Obviously, like, our team right now is just com completely abandoned A and all lemming um, behind. Like, what what is this formation? So the Apollo is probably spotting us here as we're trying to announce a video. So we need to get a little bit more behind this island. Okay, there's a fire. That should be permanent, I believe. But in the meantime, excuse me, we need to reassess the, the, the board and see what our team is doing. And honestly, we could just keep this push going. Um, the, the fight is going to take place between... Um, there's the Apollo. He's going to get ready to YOLO that battleship. This could be a problem. I didn't really see this Leon backing up. There's a cruiser out here detecting. Or D, well, the DD. There's only one DD. But now that we got that turn off, we should be able to shoot. And I'm gonna be honest, like battle, like this Ganisa now. He, I'm sure he's having maximum fun. You know, like battleship play to me is is incredibly painful. Mainly because I can sit here and dodge almost all these shots uh, with one with with steering gears mod and one rudder modification. Um, now, if you're running, you know, like a, a, a quote-unquote agile build, you, I probably wouldn't have, would not have even been touched right now. Um, so I can very easily understand why Battleship players are upset, and I, you can't, oops, wasn't paying attention. You can't play, you can't, you could not pay me to play Battleships right now. Okay, are you gonna, we'll just shoot anyway. Go and repair because he's probably going to take some aggro. I potatoed into the island. But again, this is this is the mines playstyle. There, there's no reason to to be. You don't need to push four ships right now. If you're pushing the four ships right now, you just you again you you don't understand the the what is needed in order to win. And I always, always, always want to be alive, unless the situation calls, really calls for my death. Like, if I have to ram one ship to get the win, of course, you know, I'll just, that's it. But, um, with the amount of people that don't really just don't understand the game right now, um, or just, you know, are quote-unquote having fun, I, I feel like it's almost my job to be alive and to carry the team. Now, our Priestland's doing an excellent job of getting the cap and understanding the game. Um, but our battleships in the middle here and the cruisers that all abandon ACAP, they, they necessarily don't. You should never, ever abandon your side unless all ships do, and then you can kite away from that side. 
And that being said, we have, we're still in the white. We've only used one heel for a fire that I, you know, accidentally potato essentially into. Uh, and we have two caps. So we've supported our destroyer. Uh, we've supported this push and we have 60,000 damage just in fire damage. We need to watch, I think there's another battleship over here and a Charles Martel, which could probably yeet us if he wanted to, you know. Okay, that's, he's dead. Okay, but now, since we're looking at the map and we're kind of paying attention, is that a battleship? No, he didn't aim correctly, so we're gonna skedaddle on past that one. Oh no, it's it's three cruisers, I'm sorry. There's not a battleship over here. But because our uh, our team is not really, again, not sure what they're doing, we're going to go over here and play the team player. We're going to go to this side and support this, defend this flank. There's three ships over there, a battleship, a cruiser, and a cruiser, and we have another cruiser sailing all the way across the map. So we don't need to be additional support over there, especially since two battleships are already dead, uh, with detriment, you know, as a result of a lot of our fire damage. Probably got this York. No, that's fine. Kills, I, I don't care about kills. Kills are irrelevant to me. Damage, it, essentially irrelevant to me. Um, and now that we've, we've kind of got this uh, flank over here and this one battleship, we actually need to turn our attention this way. We need to, when did he shoot last? So Piotr, he just shot. We're actually going to straight... Ah, I might have turned. May have potato this turn. Got a little lucky with RNG there, but... I'm actually going to repair this turret. Now we're going to... Again. Yep, we're going to... Uh, oh. I can't see the AP shells, so we're just going to kite out. We're in the middle of a... We put ourselves in the middle of a crossfire here, but the Ochakov is at such far range. And only has a 150 millimeter gun, so the AP, even on our broadside, would not do that much. Now that we've lost this side, we need to call for support and allow our free son to do his job. If he does his job, we will win this game. If he doesn't, we, there's a potential we lose. Now I'm going to be a very, very uh, cautious with my angles, paying attention to what the, the Sharn Horse is shooting at. In the meantime, I kind of want to get a fire on the Sharn Horse make him play with his damage caught as the e-bag is, is doing essentially what I would do and uh, turning in for the, the shot, baiting the shot and then uh, turning out. We'll go ahead and burn the heal, we're going to need it. As our team continues to push the seaside for a cruiser that's falling in A. If you're that guy and you're watching this video, dude, you're, you're not doing it right. Sorry, my dude. Uh, play the game how you wish, but if you want to win, if your goal is winning, you need to think about your position. Again, our team is doing and that actually. Ooh, okay, again, got a little lucky there with our angles. It's possible to see the white AP shells on this white background. Let's just turn our back turrets. Let's get this guy. There's the Confederate though, doing our job as a agile mobile cruiser with a lot of utility. Let's see what you got. And shatters. Okay, Apollo's dead. Friesland did his job. This should be a win. There's the high caliber. Doing our job as a, an HE spamming cruiser. Let's see if we can get the wither here, too. Good work, guys. That's a GG by simply reading the map and understanding the game in its simplest form. Literally just mini-map awareness will, will net you much better results than, than just sailing to the one time you got a Kraken over here because it's a, it's a fun spot on the map. If you spawn at A, defend A. If you spawn at C, defend C. Most maps, it's you can have a difficult time holding the middle, but uh, on this map, it's still very possible. Even in this cruiser, you can just kite the back line. So we saw, again, we saw him turning towards us to get his guns on, so we're gonna turn nearly all the way out. Kind of leave a little bit of our angle here so he bounces most shells. Yeah. Bounces, bounces, and overpin on our superstructure. And there's a leap of that fire. Kind of a boring play style towards the end here, but again, we're doing what needs to be done in order to win. 
I, I, I don't really care about damage. I don't really care about kills. I, 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 I hate losing. I'm a competitive person through and through. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what the AP will do. As soon as he turns not broadside. Switch to HE, which is actually a smart option. He only has, like, 280 millimeter. I forget the Sharn Horse exact. They're, like, 10 or 11, or 11 or 12 inch. Um, which is, you know, the HE could actually do a decent chunk here, but I believe he's going to burn out. 150k damage. No kills, but the Confederate and high, high caliber, meaning we touch a lot of ships, which is your job in a cruiser, especially one that has decent maneuverability, uh, decent range, and hard hitting guns. There's the wither. Again, we're just playing with our throttle. We're not doing anything super fancy. If you want to run the 30 rudder modifications, that's fine. But with one, like I said, with steering gears and one rudder modification, we're nearly dodging. We dodged all but one shell by just knowing, you know, classic player movements and how to dodge. Arsonist, Wither, high caliber, Confederate, 170k damage. And there's our first kill. Like I said, kills to me are irrelevant. The Krakens are nice. They are cool. I definitely clickbait them. But, as you can see, our destroyer did his job, we supported our destroyer, our battleship is kind of chasing that guy to the edge of the map, um, and we've definitely done our job. So, we are way out of position now, but the game is well in hand. We did that. If we wanted to, we could have turned to the Sharn Horse and hanged him uh, with our nose. It's, it's 25, I think. Um, and his small caliber guns would not overmatch, but we wanted to play it safe and like I said, I, I like being the last one alive. I like, not the last one alive, I like being alive at the end of the game. Um, mainly because 80% of the time, my teammates have no clue what they're doing. Like this guy, I, I appreciate him chasing him down and he, you know, he ended up uh, getting the kill, but at, at what cost? Like he's put, he's put himself so far out of the fight now that you know if we needed to get a cap or something, yeah. Um, and now, in my defense, I'm, like I said, I'm out of position, but we took on two ships, there was Apollo there, and we were defending the B-cap in the meantime. Understanding the game, and understanding, like I said, understanding what needs to be done uh, in order to win, will net you much better results in terms of XP, damage, Pretty much any number that you, you can think of. Um, now, if you want to just go and YOLO and have fun, like I said, I, I recommend AI. <laughs> but uh, even then, even if you're still just trying to have fun, you can, you can do it in a way that is beneficial for your team. Oh, he got his last gun off. If, if he said it on me, it might be dead. No. By simply, simply maneuvering and, and playing with your throttle, you can, you can avoid avoid a lot of battleship shells, which is why I personally hate playing battleships right now. I think we got him. Fire got him. That's a GG. 28-2900 XP is my guess. No caps. I don't think we got to defend, so not that much in terms of the domination XP, but we did a lot of damage. We, just, we also attracted a lot of damage, and there's a 3k base. 3k with two kills, a high caliber arsonist, confederate, and witherer. Um, that's kind of the, the point of the video. Nearly 200k, 400 target hits, uh, and, and, a, and a good game. And, and guys, like I said in the, the beginning of the video, this playstyle is completely acceptable if you read the map and you're focused on the objectives. If you just immediately, like I said in the Suzuya video, if you just immediately turn out and kite and try to farm witherers without looking at the board, or paying attention to what the game needs, then you're not benefiting your team and your damage hunting. Now, did we essentially damage hunt? Yes. Our destroyer did an excellent job of getting the caps and we did not need to push them. because of. But because we supported him initially and pushed those cruisers away and that battleship away with our push, he was, he was able to do that. Now, not every game is going to go according to plan. Not every game is, are you going to win or are you able to do what I did this game? But if you, if you 
learn these basics and you apply them and, and you really look at what your ship is capable of and, and what you need to do, then you will net y your XP and win percentage will skyrocket. Um, I, I just see people so many times in the Mogami, it was the other day in a Miyoku, just kiting at the furthest possible distance on the same side of the map for the entire game and you're doing nothing for your team. Um, now, notably, the mains can do that. Um, the mines can do that. So, if it, like I said, if your side gets overrun and you're drawing all that enemy fire, do it. Uh, but in this situation, our team abandoned the left flank, so we went over to the middle and distracted and killed two or three ships there. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's the video, the, the mines play style and, and adjusting and, and really reading the mini-map. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to do a few more um, just solo gameplays where I'm talking about the game and the, the intricacies of the game. A lot of people like understanding that. So, um, And this is why I care a little bit about my win percentages, because I like to to, to back up what I'm, what I'm talking about. Like, well, you don't know anything. Well, I kind of do. Um, and I also get stream snipe into it some days. Um, which, you know, I'd probably have a near 80% if I started a new account. New account and didn't, you know, with a different name. But that's besides the point. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm going to, I'm done blabbering here. Lose the main, the mines tomorrow. So you guys have a good evening, good afternoon, wherever you guys are. Hey, run out. Peace.